one similarity is the higher mortality pattern that we're seeing. What's interesting is that up to now, uh, as the disease is spreading uh, globally, we're seeing mortality only occurring in Mexico, even though you're seeing people in Israel, in, in New Zealand, even here in the United States catching the illness. Uh, so the question that begs uh, is, what is distinct about Mexico that is causing individuals there with this swine flu to succumb to the disease? Uh, I wonder whether you're seeing nutritional deficiencies amongst Mexicans today, uh, especially farm workers um, and low-income individuals, which are making them more vulnerable uh, to the swine flu currently. The 1918 influenza pandemic really targeted the young and the healthy. This was different than the yearly pandemics or even the many pandemics that had occurred prior to 1918 and subsequently. And this really seared a mark in our medical memory, so much so that in 1976, when there was a, an outbreak of influenza at Fort Dix in New Jersey, where uh, soldiers in their 20s passed away due to influenza, there was a national emergency called and everybody was quickly vaccinated, uh, sometimes to the detriment of the individuals, out of fear that we might have a recurrence of an influenza pandemic where the young and the healthy uh, might be uh, the uh, targeted vulnerable population. I'm concerned that uh, a, a, too much of a histor uh, hy hysterical reaction to the illness might make us um, engage in rash judgment and rash action which might have deleterious consequences.